All right, let's talk about artboards. Starting out, in the new document dialog, you'll see a few artboard options here. Now, I'm going to recommend m multiple artboards so you can render multiple versions quickly and so that you can keep elements that you're not actively using sort of organized. Now, make sure that the columns divides this number evenly so that you have a nice rectangle. That'll just make things closer and make everything aesthetically pleasing. All right, to get to the artboard tool, you can hit Shift O or you can click this square over here. And you'll see, you'll get a little bit of info as well as a little X up here that you can delete an artboard if you wish. Now, this might seem confusing because you've got a number here and then you've got a number here. The important thing to know is that this number that's just a number is the only thing that's meaningful. And the reason it's meaningful is if you're saving something like a PDF, that's the order that it'll be in. This artboard 6 is just the name of the artboard and it's kind of confusing. But I'll show you if you can just delete it. If you change the name, it, it doesn't matter. So this is your artboard panel. And if you don't see it, go up to Window, Artboards. OK, I'm going to drag it out because it's going to have a flyout menu. All right, so we've got this artboard selected. What can we do with it? If we go up to here, we'll see Artboard Options. You can also get there by clicking that little button up there. You'll see you can change the name very easily. And Adobe also gives you these presets, which are very, very useful. And there are all kinds of useful things for, you know, development, video production, and print production. So you can click what you want, and you're good to go. Also, you have display options. And you can choose whatever you think will help you with your art. And these options are also available in the control panel or control bar up here. All right, now this fade region outside of artboard, you're probably gonna wanna leave it checked just so you don't lose yourself. But if you like a lot of white, uncheck it. All right, now back up to this bar up here. You can adjust where the artboard is very precisely through here. It's important to note that the transform panel will not allow you to do this, which is another way that artboards are different than objects. So that's that. And also you have this button up here. Now let's show you what that button does. I'm going to just draw out two rectangles, put one here and one here. Okay. Now if we have this button clicked, whenever I move the artboard, the rectangle will come with it. If we don't have it clicked, then the rectangle will stay behind. Okay, and that is the move artwork, move slash copy artwork with artboard options. Okay, so. Now we kind of got this disheveled look to our artboards. I want to, those to look nice and well again. So I'm going to go up to rearrange artboards. And this is similar to when you first started a document. You can choose the rows and columns. You can choose the spacing. And you could choose to move the artwork when you rearrange these artboards, which is probably a good option. So I'm going to just do three columns like that and it's kind of a strange pattern all right now let's say that we're done we've done everything that we want to do and now we want to send this off to the client well I just want the client to see these two squares they don't need to know about these other extra artboards that we have but I do want to send them an Adobe Illustrator file so we have another neat little option up here which is artboard or no sorry which is delete empty artboards so you'll see now that we just have these two beautiful artboards there and we can just go to rearrange artboards just to get these centered in the document and looking pretty. So that's about all that you need to know and keep in mind that you can copy these artboards just like you would a normal layer and they will show up right next to 
the last artboard, or not the last, but the top row furthest to the right artboard, and they'll have the spacing that you've last set either in your new document or in the re rearrange documents. And that's about all you need to know with artboards. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and stay awesome.